Hi, it's Chelsea from the Australian Skin Institute. Today I'm super excited to step you guys through our brand new facial. This facial is incorporating our traditional skin needling with a few added benefits. So we've got two new products that we're going to introduce in this facial today. This is our beta prep step. So this is a step that we will be doing before our skin needling. This is full of amazing BHAs, which work really well to degrease the skin before skin needling, while also helping remove dead skin cells and really make the skin super bright. Also amazing for any underlying congestion. After we perform our skin needling, we're then going on to our cactus enzyme mask. This is an amazing product. It's got vitamin K in it, um, which is really great for healing. And it's also got heaps of essential fatty acids and antioxidants. So that's amazing after skin needling, just to really make the skin super vibrant and super beautiful. We'll actually massage this one in for an added relaxation step. So this is our beautiful model, Kelly. Um, so Kelly and I have um, done a consultation prior to the treatment where we've really worked out what will be the best um, treatment steps for Kel. Now, Kelly's main concern is a little bit of underlying congestion and a little bit of dehydration. So we're really wanting to work on product penetration in this treatment. And we're also wanting to work on that little bit of congestion we tend to get through our chin and our jaw area. So the beta prep is going to be absolutely amazing for Kelly. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our pre-cleanse step. Um, so this is using our Radiant Cream Cleanser. I like to do a little bit of inhalations before any treatments, even if it is an advanced treatment step. So Kel, I'll get you to take a deep breath in and out. Now this product, we want to use dry hands, dry face to apply, and then we're going to add a little bit of water to emulsify. So we have done our pre-cleanse step. Um, as you can tell, it's removed majority of the makeup and Kel had quite a heavy coverage on. So now we're going to come through with our foaming cleanser, which is our power cleanse step. Um, so as you can see with our cleanser, it turns into a beautiful light lather consistency. That's because this product contains no sodium lauryl sulfates, no soaps or detergents. So you're able to get a really deep clean, but without dry drying or stripping your skin. You can use this one over the eye area as well. So we are about to do the beta prep now. Um, now what you want to do is just put half a capful in a little um, glass dish like this. Um, now Kelly is quite an advanced skin user um, so we can push her skin a little bit um, because she's used to getting professional treatments and using professional products at home. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply the beta prep with gauze. If you've got a client who's got naturally quite a sensitized skin or sensitive skin, um, I would recommend to use just normal cotton rounds. Now, even though we're not needling over the decolletage, we're still going to apply the beta prep through the decolletage as well. Now, it is really normal to get a lot of flushing with this product. It does have quite a strong smell as well. So it does smell very alcoholy. So this is a great added step of exfoliation before we get into our skin needling. Really work in those grooves. Any areas that we might have a bit of congestion. So Kel's main area is underneath her chin. I would recommend to make sure that we're fully getting that area and giving it a really strong work over. So we're just going to let that one absorb in a little bit. So that way the beta prep can fully absorb in. So we are working with a BHA, which is a really small molecule size. So it enters the skin extremely fast. Um, so just wait until the skin is dry and it's no longer wet and tacky. Thank you. 
So we've put the saline solution on already. Um, so we've sterilized the skin, we've done our skin needling, um, and now we're gonna put on our cactus enzyme. So this is a great product to put on after skin needling, full of antioxidants, antibacterial properties, and essential fatty acids. Um, now you can pop this one on with a fan brush and then massage it in, or you can um, pop it on with your hands and massage it in, whatever your favorite um, step is with that. I prefer to massage it in. Um, now with this product, it will leave the skin looking really glowy, really beautiful um, because of those essential fatty acids and those antibacterial properties. Now, of course, because we've just needled the face, we are still going to massage this product in with gloves. So just make sure that you clean, change your gloves and you put a fresh pair on for these steps. So this is the perfect hybrid treatment where we're combining results driven and also a lot of relaxation. I feel like how the world is at the moment. People want results, but they also want to take that time out for themselves and relax. So just make sure that you are creating that really beautiful step um, and treatment step with your clients. So we've been massaging that one in for a little while now um, and the product has completely absorbed into Kelly's skin. Now, when a product completely absorbs in, especially something that is um, that sort of water-based like this, that normally indicates to me that we've got a bit of dehydration happening within the skin. So this is the perfect product to put on after skin needling because it's got those essential fatty acids um, and lots of antioxidants. But what I would be making sure to educate my client on is that we're introducing hyaluronic acid into her skincare regime so needing to use the phc after skin needling just to really lock that hydration back into the skin um, and really help to combat that dehydration i would also be recommending the vitamin b3 um, because we want to work on that trans epidermal water loss um, and we also want to work on that barrier function as well so now we're just going to pop on our finishing steps so you can choose the best serum and moisturizer for your client. Um, I have decided to go with our pure hydration concentrate. Like I said, just really lock in that hydration and I'm going to layer that with a little bit of our peptide serum and our deck cream. Perfect. So that's the end of our facial. Um, so with these um, facials, just remember to educate your clients on pre and post home care that they should be doing. Um, it will be quite normal for someone like Kelly who does have a little bit of congestion through the chin area to experience a little bit of breakout. That's completely normal. It's just about prepping her and making sure that we're educating her on what products to use after the treatment. I would recommend that we get our clients booked in um, four weeks after treatment um, just to maintain results and prep the skin. Keep in mind if we've got clients who want to work on anti-aging, um, we want to work on that collagen production so we're going to go a little bit deeper with the needle size um, opposed to someone who just purely wants to work on a little bit of congestion um, and a little bit of dehydration. Thank you very much for your time today and we'll see you soon.